You may have watched lots of modern Korean dramas in your life, but trust me, historical Korean dramas are the best. There is something very comforting about historical Korean dramas that immerses you into the world of both real and fictional characters. Today, we are counting down our list of the top 10 best historical Korean dramas that you must watch in 2023. <laughs> Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 10 is Rookie Historian. This romantic historical fiction is a captivating Korean drama that will take you on a journey to the Joseon dynasty. This show follows the story of a young woman with a name I cannot pronounce. It goes something like Gu Haryan, of I don't know, I will just call her Gu for now. She is a spunky young woman who's determined to break down gender barriers and pursue her dream of becoming a historian. As she starts her new job, she meets Prince Lee Rim, a charming and quirky royal who helps her uncover hidden truths about their past and navigate the political landscape of the dynasty. <laughs> Coming in at number 9 is Moon Lovers, a historical Korean drama that will make you wish you could travel back in time. This show follows Go Ha Jin, a modern-day woman who gets transported back in time to the Goryeo dynasty. And let me tell you, she is not happy about it. She goes from binge-watching Netflix to dealing with palace politics and warring princes. And all she wants is to go back to her air-conditioned apartment and her Wi-Fi. As the series continues, Go Ha Jin quickly finds herself caught in the middle of a love triangle, or should I say love hexagon. With so many princes fighting for her attention, it's like The Bachelor, but with more swords and fewer roses. Coming in at number 8 is Under the Queen's Umbrella. This Korean drama is a royal treat that will have you hooked from the start. The story takes place during the Joseon era, where a queen has two troublemaker sons with no grace and dignity. Soon, she also gives up on her dignity to change her sons into eligible princes through education. If you have already watched Under the Queen's Umbrella, then tell us your review in the comment section. Coming in at number 7 is Kingdom. This action thriller has got everything from political intrigue, historical drama, and did I mention the zombies? That's right, because let's face it, everything's better with zombies. The story takes place in medieval Korea and follows the story of the crown prince as he uncovers a sinister plot to take over the throne. But things get a little complicated when the dead start coming back to life and chomping on the living. I mean, who needs political intrigue when you've got flesh-eating zombies? Coming in at number 6 is Six Flying Dragons. This historical drama is so epic that it will make Game of Thrones look like a children's story. It's got war, action, romance, and did I mention the dragons? Okay, so there are no actual dragons in the show, but there might as well be with all the epicness that goes down. Set in medieval Korea, Six Flying Dragons follows the story of six legendary figures as they band together to overthrow a corrupt government and establish a new dynasty. It's like Avengers Assemble, but with fewer spandex suits and more epic battles. Coming in at number 5 is Quarang, the poet warrior youth. This show is all about a group of handsome, young men who are training to become elite warriors in ancient Korea. But wait, there's more. These warriors are also poets. Yes, you heard that right. They wield their swords with the same elegance as their pen. The story follows a young man who joins a warrior group to seek revenge against the powerful people who caused his family's downfall. <laughs> Coming in at number 4 is Rebel, the thief who stole the people. This show is all about a Robin Hood-like character who steals from the rich to give to the poor. The main character is not just any thief. He's a master of disguise and has some serious ninja-like skills. It's like watching an action movie, but with a romantic twist. And speaking of romance, our hero falls in love with a girl from a wealthy family. Their love story is so swoon-worthy, it will have you rooting for them from the first episode. Coming in at number 3 is Mr. Sunshine. This Korean drama takes place in the early 1900s when Korea was under Japanese occupation. 
The story revolves around a Korean-American soldier named Eugene who returns to his homeland as a U.S. Marine officer. But his return is not exactly a welcome one as he's seen as a traitor by some Koreans for leaving the country during a time of crisis. Coming in at number two is Mr. Queen. Now, don't be fooled by the title because this show is not about a queen, although that would be pretty cool too. Instead, it's about a man who gets transported back in time and wakes up in the body of a queen. Can you imagine the chaos that would ensue if you woke up one day and suddenly had to rule a kingdom? We sure can't, but that's what makes this drama so entertaining. Coming in at number one is Alchemy of Souls. Yes, this is in fact the best historical drama on our list and one of the most fan-favorite Korean dramas of all time. The story revolves around a group of people who are brought together by their shared experiences of lucid dreaming and astral projection. But don't worry if you're not a philosophy buff, because this drama has plenty of action, suspense, and even a villain who is so evil, he makes Darth Vader look like a fluffy bunny.